In this video, we are going to deal a problem related to jet transform. So, in this problem, they given a sequence and they indicated the term x of 0. So, they given x of 0, but in previous problem, they did not given any x of 0 indication that means arrow mark indication, but here they given arrow mark. You can observe the problem, a finite duration sequence x of n is equivalent to 530124. So, whenever you saw this arrow mark, definitely you need to understand like this that is a x of 0 term. That means the value of the signal at n is equivalent to 0. So, the remaining samples right to that x of 0 sample will be positive samples and the remaining samples left to that x of 0 will be x of minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 like that. So, here how we can treat this means so, we, we need to treat this as x of 0, the rest of samples right to this x of 0 must be x of 1 and x of 2 and these samples are x of minus 1 and x of minus 2 and x of minus 3 according to that you need to consider the equation. So, here for this sequence we need to consider jet transform. So, for any signal x of n the jet transform of any discrete signal x of n is represented with x of z. The equation for jet transform is summation n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n into z power minus n. This is the equation for jet transform to calculate the jet domain of the given sequence. So, here if you observe this summation here the summation is covering minus infinity to infinity, but our signal is a finite duration signal, it is having values from minus 3 to 2 only. So, no need to consider from minus infinity to infinity, I am considering my signal jet transform from minus 3 to 2 as I am having only samples of the signal from minus 3 to 2. So, I consider my summation from n is equal to minus 3 to 2 remaining equation is x of n into z power minus n. Here in next step I am just expanding this equation to substitute that values. So, here x of minus 3 into z power. So, if I substituted n is equal to minus 3 then what you will get? So, already here you are having minus. So, you will get z cube plus x of minus 2. So, x of minus 3 after value is minus 2. In this range, I am just minus 2, minus 1, minus 0, 1, 2 like that I am writing. x of minus 2, if I substituted minus 2 in place of minus n, so minus of minus, I will get plus 2 here plus x of minus 1 into z power 1 plus x of 0 into z power 0 plus, so remaining is x of 1 into z power 1 plus x of 2 into z square x of 2 into not z square so here you need to substitute in terms of n so if if you substituted n is equal to 1 then here also you need to substitute n is equal to 1 please keep in mind all right sided sequences are having z power negative value so you can see z power negative value all left sided sequences are having z power positive values. So, here this is equal to x of minus 3 value I am having as 5, 5 z cube plus x of minus 2 value is 3, 3 z square again x of minus 1 value is 0. So, here this term will, uh, will be equal to 0 and x of 0 value is equal to 1. So, here x of 0 is 1, z power 0 is equal to 1, 1 into 1, 1 plus x of 1 value is 2, 2 z inverse plus x of 2 value is equal to 4, 4 z power minus 2. So, this is x of z of that sequence like this way we need to write the sequence. So, here the sequence is not balanced. So, that means so, x of 0 right side I am having 2 samples, but left side I am having 3 samples. This is not a balanced sequence. So, if they are saying balanced sequence, then x of 0 
right side samples and left side samples must be equal. So here for the given sequence if x of 0 is located at this point the z transform will be like this. For the same sequence if you move this arrow mark to this side or this side the z transform will change you can check later. So you just put this arrow mark here and you can treat this 0 as x of 0 the remaining samples right to that uh, x of 0 will become positive samples and this side will become negative samples you will get 3 positive samples and 2 negative samples there. So like that the problem total problem is going to change according to this arrow mark the total problem is going to change. For example if you are not having that arrow mark itself. So, you are not going to get any um, left sided signals that means left sided uh, uh, samples jet power positive samples you are not going to get if this arrow mark is not given. So, whenever arrow mark is given in between then whatever the samples left to that x of 0 you will get jet power positive. All right sided samples you are going to get jet power negative all left sided samples you are going to get z power positive. So, here this is the z transform of given finite duration sequence when x of 0 is located at 1.